climatic zones of the earth. The sun is the main source of heat on earth. The amount of heat received from the sun is maximum at the equator, decreasing as we move away from the equator and towards the poles. This has led to the formation of three distinct heat zones on earth. The three heat zones of the earth. The torrid zone, the temperate zone, the frigid zone. The torrid zone. The torrid zone lies between the Tropic of Cancer, 23 and a half degree north, and the Tropic of Capricorn, 23 and a half degree south. The equator runs through the center of this zone. Since the rays of the sun fall vertically on a small area in this zone, it is the hottest part of the earth. The areas in the torrid zone, which are near the equator, are the equatorial regions. The areas in the torrid zone which are near the two tropics are the tropical regions. The equatorial regions receive rain every day. This region has no winter. Most of the world's deserts are in this region. The hot and wet equatorial regions have evergreen forests. These are forests that have a great variety of trees that grow in several layers. The areas which get heavy rains during summer have deciduous forests of trees that shed their leaves during dry season. The upland areas have different vegetation, mostly in the form of grasslands. The deserts have thorn forests. More than half of all the species of animals, birds, fish and insects in the world are found in this region. The great apes, many reptiles and birds live in the equatorial forests. The tropical grasslands of Africa are home to zebras, giraffes, lions, leopards and a variety of deer. Camels and smaller animals inhabit the deserts. The Temperate Zone The North Temperate Zone lies between the Tropic of Cancer 23 and a half degree north and the Arctic Circle, 66 and a half degree north. The South Temperate Zone lies between the Tropic of Capricorn, 23 and a half degree south and the Antarctic Circle, 66 and a half degree south. These zones have a mild temperature. They are not as hot as the Torrid Zone and also not as cold as the Frigid Zone. The areas in this zone, which are nearer the equator, are warmer than the areas nearer the Arctic or Antarctic Circle, 66.5 degree north or south. This zone has four distinct seasons and winters are cold. The vegetation here varies according to temperature and rainfall. Where there is little rains, there are grasslands, prairies or steppes. Some areas in this zone, like the Gobi Desert, have desert vegetation. The wetter regions in this zone have coniferous forests with tall, straight, evergreen trees with needle-like leaves. Some of the regions near the Mediterranean Sea have Mediterranean vegetation of deciduous trees. The rest of the zone has mixed forests. Giant pandas, grizzly bears, llamas, wolves, kangaroos, squalas, wallabies and migratory birds abound in this zone. The Frigid Zone The North Frigid Zone lies between the Arctic Circle and the North Pole, 90 degree north. The South Frigid Zone lies between the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole, 90 degree south. This zone is the coldest region on Earth. The polar regions remain frozen for most of the year. The winter here is very long and severe. The poles have six months of continuous darkness in winter. In summer, there is continuous light for weeks together. Small trees, bushes and berries grow in this region. 
mosses and lichen grow in the tundra region. Penguins, polar bears, reindeer, arctic hares, seals, whales and walruses are found in this zone.